what's up guys what's up guys this is your boy king danny x remember this is, was our last picture and we made a bit of effort we put enough effort to get it to here from here to here now we're just gonna continue we're done with the details we're just gonna move to tones below here when you're dealing with tones that's where you, you are gonna balance the skin tone balance the skin tone make it look amazing you know this is where you show how good you show your clients how good you are with matching skin tones man as you can see this is light this is dark this is what what you have to match everything try to make it look more natural give them that fantasy looking kind of skin you know so this is this was our last this is what we did so far and then from here we're just gonna select tones delete curves here delete curves come to tones make sure you have to also make another one here which you have to name it body just go to layer here and then bring it here just name it body sorry with the small letters just name it body and then from there you go to your brush this is your brush you can select here just right click anywhere this is your brush size to adjust your brush size just press your square brackets on your keyboard and also bring the hardness below below 10 also something like this to make the edges softer as you can see to make your brush size bigger or smaller just press square brackets here i'm just gonna make it this big to sample your skin because we want to balance actually the skin skin tone here just select alt and then sample alt sample and then paint this is the sign that shows you haven't adjust your flow so just undo this Control z and then go to tones this is going to be the face this is going to be for the face and this one's going to be other parts of the body so just go to tones and go to flow and then put your flow around four or five let's just put it around four and then let's go back try it again alt and then uh, we're just gonna sample this one as you can see when you sample the ch the colors here are gonna change showing that you, you have sampled a different color just look at here select here okay let's go back let's just start here select here and then we're gonna paint this part of the body with the colors that the color that we sample let's do it let's do that again here as you can see before and after don't overdo this technique it it gets a bit confusing it gets a bit confusing because you won't see what you're doing so you have to just take it easy and if it's easy they say take it home so just gonna select here do this don't worry about how she's looking now uh, and that, that's where the dodge and bend comes in that's where you're gonna create recreate the the, the the, the shape of the face make sure your flow is below five please don't make it above 10 or above five you won't see the effect you just have to hide here before and then this is after let's just do this we're just gonna deal with the face now this won't take even 10 minutes let's just do this don't zoom in too much just a bit We're done with the face just press ctrl o to zoom out this is after and this is before after before after before and then let's just double click here and then we'll go to blending options which is style layer style and come to underlining layer and just select this and pull it a bit like this and then from here press alt and then select here just split it and bring it back like this something like this and then bring it back like this we're trying to blend what we did with the former skin so something like this as you can see our dark spot is still here as we have to sample again here just bring it here something like this okay also here and also here I 
can say we're done with the face and then let's go to the body usually I like matching the face with the entire body so usually I sample the mid tones of this out of the face which is here just bring it down here but don't over don't, also don't overdo it here because it's easy to notice so click again here which is already mixed with the skin tone just do like this just select here select here then okay Let's try and bring it down here don't overdo it when it comes to matching the face with the entire body especially the neck that's where you're gonna notice a lot of imperfections of the retouching artist because we are retouching artists we're making art here so already this part it's a bit red this one is a bit light so I'm just gonna bring the red here something like this I'll find it that part as you can see let's zoom up out a bit before after double click again here do the same thing with it on the other side something like this and then alt to split and then bring it back here and then you go to opacity then something like this okay let's see before after before everything and then this is after before everything and then this is after now we are done with the skin matching the skin tone something like that now we are trying to match the shadows of the skin which is most of the parts that you can actually fix here yeah? now select colors and then go to aliasu aliasu tool select this tool here yeah? make sure your feather is on 15 or above 10 actually just select a shape like this where you on the skin that you want to blend and then go to filter then go to blur and then go to Gaussian blur but I already made a shortcut of this which is F4 so I don't have to take this step once more up and down already made a shortcut which I created where oh keyboard shortcuts keyboard shortcuts go to filter and then just scroll down here you'll see Gaussian player which is under player and then just play and then press F4 or select another key which is not being used and then just press OK so F4 Gaussian player make sure it's above 10 let's put it around 15 I, I wanna blend this dark with this one okay just gonna do this then press F4 before after you won't see a lot of changes but it's just tiny changes usually when you do this it's gonna make the skin a bit softer so let me increase because I've noticed that my my po my portrait picture has a high res it's high res just gonna do it here something like this just gonna mesh this part of this part something like this then you come down here just blending everything together something like here blending the colors to deselect just press ctrl D ctrl D to deselect just come here ctrl D to deselect here's something look at this this is before and this is after before and this is after now all you have to do is go back to that video that we did which is dodge and burn i can show you here let me let me make a fast trail of it how to dodge and burn but you have to watch the other video so you'll understand it better so please subscribe leave a question below i'm gonna be back with another video denny x signing out